Hey guys, it's your boy Expert Labs coming at you live for um another game review. Okay, and it's something that uh I've been putting off okay for the last few days because um yeah, it kind of breaks my heart to do this, but you know, I kind of have to do it. Um so yeah, before we get into the actual uh review of um World of Warcraft uh, Dragonflight, okay, um, first of all, I have to actually um, tell you that uh, if you are into uh, game reviews, um, into lifestyle videos, into dating advice, travel advice, and uh, self-improvement and fitness also, then uh, I strongly suggest that you subscribe to this channel because it's going to be very good content relevant to all these subjects coming out in the next few days, okay? So subscribe to this channel and uh, also don't forget to hit the bell icon this way, this way you, won't, um, you won't miss any of my updates, okay guys? So now let's get into it, okay? So I am an avid fan of the World of Warcraft franchise, okay? I have played these games uh, an insane amount, okay, the first three games, okay, the base game, um, the, um, the first extension, okay, um, and then the second extension, Wrath of the Lich King, okay, I played them so much, I, I have lost hundreds of hours, maybe thousands, okay, on these games. Okay, I played them on official servers, I mean retail, I played them on uh, private servers, I played them like, um, yeah, I played them everywhere basically, um, on international servers, on all the types of servers of my own country, you know, um, so I played them a lot and I loved them so much, I spent so much time on them. Um, the other ext extensions, not so much, you know, I was not very impressed by uh, Mist of Pandaria or any other... Um, extensions but yeah i decided to basically um give dragonflight a shot okay i decided to give it a shot why because so many people uh were saying that it was actually uh breaking with um with the classic wall stereotype which was super grindy and uh, you know just super boring okay but yeah, I have to say that after trying it for, uh, you know, a week now, I have found it really bland, boring and lacking in luster because basically this uh, extension only brings some slight, um, actually, um, cosmetic improvements on the game to the game you know only slight cosmetic improvements it does not bring any significant um underlying underlying um improvements to the game or the actual gameplay all right it does not change anything to the actual gameplay all it does it bring is bring in you know a couple uh, new quest lines um dragon riding which is basically just flying on a dragon to like three times the speed of a regular mount. I mean, of a regular flying mount, obviously not a regular, you know, land mount. Um, yeah, that, that's all that there is to it. You know, that's all there is to it. You know, a couple of new dungeons, but I mean, these dungeons, they don't, they really don't feel like they used to, you know, they don't feel, um, they don't feel custom or anything like that. You know, they don't feel, uh, they don't have this, uh, this classic vanilla feel feeling that uh, that I used to get when uh, when I uh, did a dungeon like the Scarlet Monastery, for example, you know, which is not even a very um, a very high level dungeon. It's a low level dungeon, but I got so much pleasure, so much enjoyment from doing this dungeon, and now it doesn't doesn't feel like it anymore. You know, it doesn't have that uh, nice satisfying feeling I used to have. It just just feels like you're doing some, you know, random generic dungeon, you know, um, and with the dungeon finding system, okay, it's, I think it just took all the fun out of the, uh, the actual game, you know, so yeah, um, altogether, very boring experience, actually, you know, I just, I spent like 10 hours on it, and I'm already bored, you know, and I cannot refund the game, I spent uh spent six fifty bucks on it, you know, cannot refund it. 
nothing I can do, you know, I'm just really disappointed, you know, really uh, upset. I mean, not really upset, just disappointed, you know, like, and I'm really like uh, thinking, how could I even trust Blizzard after everything they've done? You know, this company is going completely off the rails, you know, it's just become basically a, a money making machine, you know, preying on 10 year old gamers you know, freaking 10 year old gamers and then asking their parents for money for microtransactions. That's what, that's what it's become, you know, nothing more, nothing less than that, you know? So I cannot trust this company anymore. I feel so, um, yeah. So like just bored of it, you know, just bored. I, I don't even have the strength to complain anymore just because of how, uh, incredibly bored I am, you know, same as Hearthstone, you know, Hearthstone is like, Used to be fun at the beginning, you know, the, the, the first three years, I guess, were fun. But then, meh, it just lost all its appeal. You know, all, all the uh, the fun aspects of the game were actually lost. So I really don't know what to do, you know. I uh, I will never give, uh, I think I will never give uh, a Blizzard product a shot anymore. But I'm still very excited for the LOL RPG. Okay, the League of Legends RPG, I'm very excited for that. Uh, I think that it has the potential to become a cool MMO. I mean, it's like, okay, the lore is not that good, okay? The, the lore is not as strong as World of Warcraft, obviously. But, I mean, take a look at the lore in World of Warcraft. Look, look, look at what the lore has become, okay? The lore is an absolute... Um, an absolute labyrinth. It makes absolutely no sense. Okay, it's the it's a cluster F. Okay, that's what it is. The World of Warcraft lore. Okay, it doesn't make any sense anymore. I mean, maybe, maybe uh, in a few localized uh, spots, you know, like uh, the the Defias bandits, for example. Okay, they have a uh, they have a certain uh, history behind them, a certain uh, certain charm to them. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. You know. A few localized areas and that's it there's uh yeah the lore has just uh, become so insipid you know that uh even the the makers of the game cannot control it anymore even they cannot keep track of it anymore so yeah all right that was all i had to say about the game um so yeah don't buy don't spend your money on it wait for the lore rpg okay or um well be prepared to waste some money and spend like 10 to 20 hours on the game tops before it gets boring and grindy okay like uh you're gonna be spending 50 bucks on a on a nice uh, crafting interface that's pretty much what you'll be spending money on so yeah that's it right guys i'm out yeah just uh don't forget to like share and subscribe you know help about out basically you know that's it um i mean if you want you know if you don't want there's no there's no uh nothing forcing you to do it nothing stopping you okay that's pretty much it all i have to say if you need to uh tell me something then just leave me a comment and uh i'll respond i respond to all the comments pretty much you know and i read def i definitely read all of them too so yeah don't don't be shy all right that's it